You okay? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Well, you're just being like that, aren't you? Right. Sorry, Belle. Actually, I was just thinking it must be hard to stay focused, you know, when you've got so much else going on. What does that mean? Nothing. Although, I'd spoken to Chaz. She told me about you not defending Sam. Not the best move you've ever made. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just had you been off with me, but I'm a big girl, I can cop. Listen, I reckon I'm going to give Andrea a nudge. Wish the divorce on a bit. What's brought this on? Well, I was just thinking. You know, just because we're not ripping each other's heads off doesn't mean I want to move things along. Is it not a bit sudden? Maybe for you, not me. Look, when you decide on a divorce, you'd do it yesterday if you could. Yeah, very true, but why today? Because of everything that's going on with you. Look, it's, it's massive what you've done for me. I mean, picking me over your family and how much they mean to you. And the sooner me and Andrew are actual history, the sooner you and I can start thinking about our future together properly. Sorry, nothing to do with me. Did you just say you are in a hurry to move on, then? What? No wonder you wanted Sam out of the way so quickly. That is not fair, Paddy. No, it's true, though, isn't it? I just want to be happy. Why is that a crime? You don't think your family want you to be happy? Well, no, obviously not. I mean, why are you having a dig about me being focused? I just don't think it's a wise move, that's all. It's like you want to start a family for you. Well, I don't. How else do you think something like this is going to end, apart from really messing All right, Paddy. Look, she's got enough on her plate without everyone turning on her. I'm not turning on anyone. I just want to make sure that all this is what you really want. So all this you mean me and Jamie? I did not expect my whole family to hate me because I've fallen in love. Look, leave her alone. OK, work should be a safe space where she doesn't feel pressured. Excuse me? At least she's got work to come to. Sam hasn't. Anyway, that's it between me and you from now on. It's business and nothing else, all right? Oh, he's just trying to be the big I am, that's all. Jamie. Should have heard him. Finally grown a pair, as you know, his mum's not around. <laughs> yeah, cocky get. Trying to get me to back off like some sort of hard man. That's weird for him, isn't it? No. Uh, I really want to lie to you now and say that it's all I could do to stop myself from knocking him out with one of them bad boys. That's best way to be. Pacifist. Like me, mate. I feel like this about Al. So I had to resist the temptation to lamp him one. I mean, again. What's he done now? Well, he's throwing his weight around with Amy for a start, and I keep thinking how rubbish it must be for people who work with him. At least get paid. True. I mean, you know what he's like? Oh, he's like Jamie. He's like all of them up there. Wow. Don't make it too obvious, will you? What? You talking about me and Jamie like I don't exist. He's already given me grief this morning. Bella was worried about you. It's not like you, Belle, not supporting your family. Yeah, and it's not like you to have a mother's meeting about it. We were just having a conversation. So what have we mentioned we're concerned about? You know what families are meant to do? I don't know what you expect. Yes, I feel bad for Sam, but he is not my responsibility. You should not have said what he said. We, we just care about you, that's all. OK, maybe try showing that by not slagging me off by my back then. I wasn't. I know it's not all about you. We were talking about... different stuff. Whatever. If you must know, a new witness is supposed to have come forward about Moira's accident. What? Who? I don't know. Might have mentioned it in passing. I'm going to try and find out more. 